installing Fabric 1.20.4 should be super simple. And as you can see in this video, I am playing using mods because I'm using Fabric 1.20.4 in Minecraft. And I'm gonna teach you how to install Fabric 1.20.4 in the easiest way I know. Let's get started. Okay, step number one to downloading and installing Fabric is clicking the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install Fabric. You can read through the guide and look at the screenshots, but if you just wanna follow along, just go ahead and click where it says download Fabric Loader here. That is going to redirect you over here, the official Fabric website, where you're gonna click download Universal Jar, and that is going to start the download automatically. In my case, as you saw, it asked me where to save it, but for most of you, it's going to download automatically. You will find the Fabric installer here within the Downloads tab in Chrome or within your Downloads folder in your computer. Now, when we download Fabrics, and those of you that have installed Fabric in the past know that you also have to download the Fabric API. Fabric API is an API mod that will allow many other mods to be compatible with Fabric without your game crashing. So in order to download the Fabric API, all you have to do is click the third link in the description, go ahead and scroll down, click where it says download Fabric API here, and within the files tab in here, we're gonna look for Fabric 1.20.4, obviously, that's the one we want. Once you find the 1.20.4, the most recent one, just go ahead and click on the little three dots in here and click download file. That is going to start the download within five seconds in this page right here. Just wait five seconds. And as you can see, it's asking me where to save it, but for you, it's going to download automatically. Once the Fabric API has downloaded, you could go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop, just like we did with the Fabric installer. Again, you can find it within your downloads folder or right here within the Chrome downloads area, right? Now that we have the Fabric API and the Fabric installer, I want you to see that the Fabric installer is a jar file. And if you have any issues, open in this jar file later on in this video you could always go to our guide in the description on how to install java 17 and how to run a jar fix this will pretty much fix 95 percent of the errors that you could get with the fabric installer which maybe is that you open the fabric installer and it opens as a text document or it opens as a web browser well installing java and updating java will fix that and then running a jar fix will for sure fix all of that so i'm gonna leave those two guides in the description in case you need to fix your jar files for installing fabric Anyways, now that we have Fabric and the Fabric API, we're gonna start with the installation. In order to install Fabric, all you gotta do is double click the installer and that is going to open this little menu in here. And as you can see, Micro 1.20.4 is selected automatically. If that's not the case for you, you could always look for 1.20.4 within this little arrow in here. Then all you have to do is click install. It's that simple, click install. And while Fabric is installing in the background, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you wanna make a server with Fabric mods or Forge mods, any type of mod or mod pack that you want, well, Apex Hosting will take care of that for you. They will actually make the server for you. They will add Fabric, they will add Forge, anything you want into your server. And the great thing about Apex Hosting right now is that if you use the first link in the description, you'll get 25% off. So if you want a server to play with your friends and you've been looking for a signal, well, this is it. This is it. The signal that you've been waiting for. Play with your friends 24-7, 25% off. First link in the description. And let's get back with the tutorial. As you can see, Fabric has finished installing. All we have to do now is click OK and we could close the installer and we could even delete the installer file. Now we need to launch our Minecraft launcher. By the way, I forgot to tell you, that's my bad. Whenever you install in Fabric, you need to have your game and your Minecraft launcher closed. You cannot install Fabric with your Minecraft launcher open because you might get an error or maybe Fabric doesn't install properly or whatever. Just open your Minecraft launcher, mine is taking a little bit. And as you can see, if you install Fabric properly, you will see it down here in the bottom left. If that's not the case for you, you could always head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. Whenever you select modded, Fabric appears. If it doesn't work like that still you could click on new installation and look for fabric here where it says version you should find it right there within the first five instances right now that we have fabric in there you can name this whatever you want click create on the bottom right and you should get a fabric instance anyways how do we add the fabric api into fabric well we're gonna head over to installations we're gonna find the fabric loader and we're gonna click on this little folder right here that is going to open a bigger folder with a lot of files and in here we're looking for a specific folder called mods m-o-d-s and as you can see mods is right here we're gonna open that folder your folder might be empty or you might not even have a folder at all actually let me go ahead and delete mine and let's say that you didn't have a folder at all all you have to do is right click click new click folder and in here you just name it m-o-d-s just like that and you could open that folder right so if you didn't have the mods folder you could create it yourself once we have this folder open we're just gonna drag and drop the fabric api into there as well as any other mod that you want to try with fabric 1.20.4 and i actually went ahead and added the physics mod for minecraft 1.20.4 so i could try out some mods with fabric once we added fabric api and any mod that we wanted we could go back into the launcher and launch fabric loader 1.20.4 just click that you understand the risk and then click play. And once Minecraft has opened, we know that we're in Fabric because it literally says Fabric down here. Anyways, let's go ahead and try out our mod. Just launch any world that you have. I'm gonna launch the first world that I have right here. 
And yeah, if you want to try Fabric Multiplayer, you could always create a server using the first link in the description with Apex Hosting. And anyways, now that the world has loaded, I actually have a lot of rendering distance, I don't know why, but if we break a block, we know that Fabric is working because we added that physics mod. You could add any other mod that you want, maybe journey map, any map that you want, or anything that you want to add with Fabric. So there we go, guys. We got Fabric working in Minecraft 1.20.4. I hope this video was useful, and as always, bye-bye.